trying to say was that the people here could express what grace was about so much better than I ever could because it's heartfelt. It's heart, this is real. This is as real as you're ever going to get. You know, we watch things on television and, and YouTube and listen to different things. And you don't know if it's real or not. But can I tell you something, folks? This is real. This is real. This is real. There's a joy at grace that you can't explain. There's a happiness at grace you can't explain. And know about the rest of you, but I look forward to Sunday. I mean, I cannot wait for Sunday to get here. It just excites my soul. Now, with that being said, you've heard a lot of people talk about being saved and coming to the Lord. And if you're a visitor here today, maybe even if you're a member here, I don't know, or someone who comes regularly, you may not understand the joy and the peace that these people were talking about today. What we're talking about is knowing Christ in a personal way. Knowing that Jesus Christ is your Savior. Knowing that your sins are forgiven. And that your home is in heaven. Having that personal relationship with Him, ain't she pretty? Having that personal relationship with Christ, it's real. It's real. Folks, can I tell you, there are people today who doubt if Christ ever existed. Can I tell you, he's real. <clears throat> There's people today who would, not, who would laugh at us for being here and doing what we're doing today. But can I tell you, he's real. He's real. Fifty years ago, boy, that's hard to say. <laughs> Fifty years ago, as a nine-year-old boy in a Baptist church on a Sunday night, I found out how real he was. Because it was that night I realized that I was a sinner. And because of my sin, I realized where I was going. I knew I was on my way to hell, Brother Leonard. I had no doubt about it. It was me and my fault and no one else's fault that I was on my way to hell. And that night I heard the preacher preach. And he said this. He said, you don't have to go. He said, Jesus Christ has provided a way for us. A way to escape the damnation of hell. For he came to this earth, lived a perfect life. I can now preach any baby there is. He lived a perfect life. And he shed his blood on the cross at Calvary to pay for my sin, for your sin, as the Bible says, for the sin of the whole world. And the Bible teaches us in Romans chapter 10 that if we'll simply confess our sin and ask Christ to save us, that he will forgive your sin that he will save you and that he will give you a home in heaven. Amen. This is real. This is real. I've heard so many people say, what's real? Christ is real. The love of God is real. This family is real. This is what it's about. People say, I'm looking for the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. 
The Bible says, for God so loved who? The world, everyone. He gives everyone an opportunity to accept Christ, accept him as their savior. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Folks, it's real. It's real. It's real. Do you understand? It's real. And if I could, if I could accept Christ for you, I would. But I can't. There was only one person I could accept Christ for, and that was me. And if you're saved here today, you had to accept Christ for yourself. But if there's never been a time in your life when you've come to that saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, you've never accepted Christ, today can be the day that you walk out these doors knowing that you're saved, that you're a child of God, and that heaven's your home. I'm going to ask the guys to come and sing that invitation thing you all had ready, if you would. They had some other songs ready, but I think this is where God has us right now. So, so I want us all to stand for just a moment. And every head bowed and every eye closed. Just as the guys start to sing, I want to just ask a couple questions. And it'll just be me and you and no one else. The Lord will know. But maybe you're here today and you don't know Christ. There's never been that time in your life when you've asked Christ to save you. And I'm not going to embarrass you. I'm not going to come to you but I want to pray for you. So if you would, for just a moment, just allow me to pray for you if you would. But if you don't know Christ as your Lord and Savior, would you just raise your hand and say, Preacher, I'm not sure I'm saved. I want to know that heaven's my home, that my sins are forgiven. I see one hand. Is there someone else? I want to know for sure that Jesus is my Savior, that my sins are forgiven, and heaven is my home. Is there someone else? Is there someone else? Just have the courage to say, I want to know for sure that Jesus is my Savior, and heaven is my home, that my sins are forgiven. I just want to pray for you. Someone else. All right, Lord, you saw this one hand that went up. And Lord, I pray that God, as we continue this service, that Lord, you would continue to speak to their heart. I pray, Father, that Lord, you'd open their heart to the love of God. And Lord, that they would see that you are all loving Savior. Father, I pray that, Lord, you would allow them the grace to accept your son Christ. For it's in his name we pray. Amen. Now, as the invitation continues, I want to do this. Maybe God's touched your heart about being saved, knowing for sure that Jesus is your Savior. Maybe God's spoken to your heart in another way. But we'd like to open up the altar right now. And if you need to come and pray just about anything, we'd like for you to come. Just come and thank God for what he's done for our church. Thank God for what he's done in your life and in your family and in your home. But today, if you need to know Christ, we invite you to come. Allow us to take a Bible and show you how you can know for sure that Jesus is your Savior and heaven's your home. Oh, would you come? Would you come? Come on, church. Maybe just come and thank God for grace and for what he's done. 
for each and every one of us. Oh, would you come? Let her. Would you come? If you're a lady, I'll have a lady pray with you and show you how you can know for sure that Jesus is your Savior and heaven's your home. If you're a fellow, I'll have a guy pray with you. Oh, come on. We want to take a Bible and show you you can know for sure that you're saved.